So my first question to you is, um, what do you think is the biggest challenge the education is facing today and how is Cambridge going to address that issue? Well, I think there's, there's lots of things. I think education is is constantly evolving and it needs to, to be honest, with all the, the challenges and opportunities that young people are facing today. Um, so there are many really, but I think probably the one I pick out most, because it's the thing we get back most from students around the world is, what are we doing to help you know tackle and address the kind of climate education crisis at the moment, or climate crisis at the moment? Um, and, and all the evidence shows that one of the key things we need to do is to, is to use education as a, a way of helping prepare young people for addressing those issues and those challenges for the future. So we're doing a lot of work at the moment on, on how do we help in our curriculum establish the knowledge around climate education, whether it's in science or in geography or in social studies, because of course it's about people's attitudes and beliefs as much as the science behind climate change. And how are we going to help? How are we going to help young people, you know, tackle that tackle that issue through their education and through the way they use knowledge to solve those kinds of problems? So that's a big focus for us, um, and something that we think means that we have to keep developing our curriculum to be relevant for tonight, for tomorrow's world. Okay, so um, can you tell us a little bit about the cultural diversity and how are uh, students going to benefit from the international mm -hmm. uh, programs mm -hmm. they, that they take up uh, in the Cambridge? No, that's a great question. Thank you. I think it's one of the one of the great advantages of an international uh, education or curriculum really is, is that you get the benefits of a, a global curriculum, a global curriculum that's recognised in you know, countries around the world. Um, but but also, you know, you, you're able to apply that within your local context. And so what that means is, is that Cambridge curriculum is, is recognised in all the great universities around the world. They recognise in a thousand universities in, in the US and in the UK. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's also, um, you know, increasingly been seen as, as a qualification or a curriculum that prepares people for Indian uh, progression as well. What that means is that you've got uh, qualifications that are run in 160 countries around the world. There are Cambridge students in, in pretty much every country that's delivering education. And so one of the great things when you, you can be part of an international education community is be very rooted in your own country, but also very connected with other young people around the world who are studying the same issues and same topics, but from their local context. And one of the things we're doing is doing a lot more joining up of, of young people around the world and, and allowing that diversity to, to really come into the curriculum. Right. Um, how do you think that, uh, that the curriculums are relevant to the, uh, you know, the evolving mm. needs of our student mm. and the 21st genera mm. uh, generation? You know? So how do you mm. uh, address that issue? Well, I mean, again, you know, a, a great question. I think there will always be the need to have a kind of a core, a bedrock to what you're teaching that is common and that is consistent because, of course, the fundamental knowledge that young people need is still there. But around that, you need to be developing uh, new content around areas that are emerging like AI and robotics or um, new kind of vocation areas. I've mentioned climate education. So we, we need to kind of keep that bedrock of knowledge, but also be very responsive to what are the things that young people are going to need right. need for the future? What are the, the, the roles that they are going to be in the future and how well do you prepare them for that? So I think AI is a classic case in point at the moment. Pretty much every meeting I'm in at the moment is how is AI going to affect education? And we're, we're really looking at that in the short term. We're looking for how can we help schools manage generative AI in the way that students do their work. But I think the longer term is how do we work with AI? How do we work with generative AI? For, so that that's a new skill that young people need to develop because that's the world they're going to be developing into. Um, so what do you think about or what are the prospects of the MOU agreement signed between the Cambridge University and the Techno India Group? Oh, well, thank you. Now, I mean, one of the main reasons for my visit here to Kolkata has been to come and to sign the MOU with, with, with Techno Group. And I think um, we, we see it as a potentially very exciting partnership. And we do think of it as a, a partnership that will develop over the years. But I think the main things early on for us is that there's a, a, obviously an ambition for the group to be opening a, a range of international schools. And we want to you know, stand alongside that and work really closely with the group on that. But I think that, that beyond that, I think there's some really interesting opportunities around thinking around teacher development and how do we develop programs that will help teachers reskill and retrain to be able to deliver international curriculum, but also actually just the, the education courses of the future. And I think that there's a real opportunity there for 
our expertise about how these programs should work and how they should be taught, but also the, the excellence in delivery of, 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 of courses here in the techno group. And we're talking and looking closely at how we can, can collaborate on developing those kind of courses for the future. Right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, so we had Mr. Rod Smith with us and stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.